Hello. We are, <laughs> we are here on the dirt track in Villarreal on the way to Castro Marin. Woohoo! And we have something behind us? We do. What is it? <laughs> it's a bat. It's not a sheep. It's a It's, it's a, a bat. <laughs> Hello and welcome along our journey today. Cindy, my friend from Georgia, who also lives here in Villarreal de Santo Antonio and I are going to Castro Marim by bicycle. It's a Knights Templar town. So those of you that like Knights Templars, and history and castles, this is a town for you. Many people zip right by it and there's a lot more to it than if you just drive by. So we're going by bike and um, we're gonna bike up the trail so right here in front of you where you see that little mill we're gonna go from Villarreal on the bike trail up to the top right up there here you go so we're going on our bike trail right into the top and then we're gonna bike around town and around the outside of the castle to the castle and then we'll visit the town squares a couple of churches from the outside as things are locked right now due to COVID and give you a general overview of what the town looks like and then us just goofing around having fun in the preserves and um, on our bikes. And for those of you that love maps, I've included a few map views here. So here we are in Europe and the Iberian Peninsula and there's Portugal down in the south. This is the Algarve, so our kind of southern section here. We're gonna just zoom in here, go straight down so you can see the county of Castro Marim, which is quite large, but we're going to the city of Castro Marim, which is just north of Villarreal de Santo Antonio. And we're gonna take a bike ride from the center of Villarreal de Santo Antonio up to Castro Marim. And here it is in the simple overview map layer. And here's the satellite. So we're just headed from south to north with a stopover in the preserves. So you can see Castro Marim's to the north. And here we are on a quick stopover, taking a picture with our biker chick, a <laughs> metal biker. This is what the trail looks like. It's a nice wide green trail to ride your bikes. This is a little bit of an incline. Hi. Hello. We made it to Castro Marin. We're at the very top of Castro Marin, and uh, there's this great little chapel and little itty bitty town. And this is where they have this snail festival every year, like the snails you eat. Mm. And there's a name for them. I don't remember what they're called. Conquilla. Is that what they're called? <laughs> it's called a lot of little snails. They eat a lot of snails here. And they grow everywhere. Yes. They're like on plants and things. <laughs> I'm not a foodie, so. <laughs> so this little area is called the Revelim de Santo Antonio, and it was built as artillery platform, and it helps control the river approaches to Castro Marim. It was important as you see Castro Marim overlooks the river to Spain, and that is the border to Spain. The Guadiana River is the border to Spain. I love that you love exploring, you know? I it's do. not just give me I a was cafe and plot. I don't I don't want to do it walking, but I love no. it on the bike. Oh, on the bike is great. Yes, yes. Hey, there's an echo come here. Come over here. What's Let's, over here? Come over here where that white church is. That church? Yeah, 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 we're gonna drive right by that. We'll get oh, that because that's right in front of the castle. It's beautiful. There's a little square. Well, it's a triangle, and that's yeah. during the medieval fair here where they close down the whole city. They do like little flag festivals there. It was supposed to be open in August, but obviously COVID. Right. So there's the bridge. We've actually seen it from our old apartment when it was yeah. going on. Oh, we, we went to see. it. Did you? Yeah, we went. Yeah. And we ran into Anna at the gate. Yeah, 
that's how you always can find Monte Gordo by the right. the old embassy suites. Old embassy suites. Um, and then our little town over there, Villarreal. And Amante, Spain. Amante, Spain. And it's important to note that down here, um, these are some of the salt salt flats, and this is where they made salt for the Romans. And this was the most some of the most prized. Hey, that's where we just were over there. Yeah. We were just over there. Um, some of the most prized salt came from here, and it was a deeply held secret. And if you were one of the salt makers and you gave away the secret, it would cost you your life. It's all that much salt. all for salt. And the salt, Castro Room salt is still pretty prized today as well. Or it's a video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be a still. It's a video. Um, behind us is the fort of Castro Marim. <laughs> right there! And right there! <laughs> anyway! <laughs> so we just came around this back path here. <laughs> and we're going to go. And we're a little bit jiggly. <laughs> we're just under the castle, but the castle's closed, so... Let me get a... Yeah, we tried going up that hill. <laughs> that was not a great idea. A bit, rough. a bit rough. I got halfway up and then... It doesn't look as steep as it is. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> the fact it has a bunch of steps, yeah. Unfortunately, the castle's closed. Or you could just go right up in there. Picnic bench. The picnic benches are open today, Cindy. Oh, nice. You can't go in a cafe, but you can go on a picnic bench. Awesome. I don't know if we're allowed to eat on a picnic bench, but yeah. just like the driver's license test, one of the options was, if no one's around, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a question there about stop signs. Can you stop and roll? Can you, yeah. there's no one around, it doesn't no, matter. It doesn't no cops matter. are around. You can always drop and roll, trust me. <laughs> drop and roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to bike around town a little bit at the town of Castro Marim. And then we're going to go by the church, which is pretty cool. Here's the streets of Castro Marim. We were just circling around the castle. Now we're circling around the buildings on the lower half of the castle and a car. Going through the back streets of Castro Marim the wrong way. Oh, this is a great tavern and place to eat when it's open. It's really old and it goes from the front through to the back. Old medieval tavern under the castle. Having some snacks. Isn't this cute, Cindy? Yeah. We're actually going the right way now. <laughs> so cars, cars will come behind you instead of in front of you. Oh, how cute is this house? Look at this. <laughs> and um, this isn't just COVID. Uh, Castro Room is normally pretty quiet. He's a very sleepy down, but they do have the festival once a year. How you doing back there? <laughs> I think I have you. <laughs> so we're gonna turn left. Uh, so here's another. Butts, butts up here. Put your butts up there. <laughs> So this is another one of our stone men, and um, he's advocating against smoking because you put your cigarettes up there, and then they end up where? In your lungs. Right. <laughs> and then what's over here, Cindy? Well, our bikes, but there's the church. So pretty. 
beautiful. Really pretty. Okay, yeah. selfie in front. <laughs> pretty church behind us, but we have to get closer because it's so little. The closer you get, the bigger it gets. Yes. Uh <laughs> so let's go a little closer. Go a little closer. So this is the Agreja Matriz de Castro Marim. It's an 18th century church. It has a late Baroque doorway. And inside, obviously, there's a big, huge dome and a big um, chandelier inside. And the principal features are the altarpiece and a statue of Saint Michael. Hello. Hello. Here we are at the beautiful church. Looks like almost the center of town next to the fort. Yes. So yes. the fort is that way and then the castle is that way. Okay. And you know gotcha. Knights Templars used to have always tunnels that would go from one to the other. So I'll bet you there's some serious tunnels underground. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been in that church? I have. Uh, I have. Let's, let's check out that map up there. Yeah. And this is a map of the inside of the castle. And of course, the town, some of the buildings on the outside. Castro Marim. Oh, of course, the Castro Marim. Knights side. Templar, Knights Templar. So we know that the Knights Templar were supposedly all killed or arrested in 1307 by the combined efforts of Pope Clement V and King Philip of France. Now remember, the French king owed lots of money to the Templars and was also very bitter that he wasn't allowed to be a Templar. Now the Pope, who didn't like that the Templars now only gave lip service to the church, were essentially undermining the church's authority. But Templar fleets escaped to Scotland and Portugal and were protected by the Portuguese crown who were part of the club. In 1308, the Pope issued orders to investigate the Templars. Now, Portugal's King Dinas and Queen Isabel protected the Templars from this order and then protected them from another order to suppress them. And of course, the Pope wanted them not only gone, he wanted their money and property. The wise Portuguese King answered back to the Pope that the Templars were gone and that their property was only loaned to them from the Portuguese crown. So the Portuguese Templar assets were transferred back to the Portuguese king, and the knights enjoyed a five-year vacation right here, right here in Castro Marim, in the Algarve. So after those five years, the king sends a letter to the Pope stating that, you know, the order doesn't exist anymore. And then a few years later, the king explains to the new pope, John the 22nd, that they need a new order since there's a hole missing where the Templars used to be. So, ta-da, the Order of Christ is born in March of 1319. Now that the Templars were safe, they could go back and meet with the king, where they are all now members of the new order and the king transfers back their land and money, and then they all head back to Tomar in Portugal, their original old headquarters. Oh, and I have visited Tomar and Sintra, and those are fabulous places for Templar history. Um, you have got to visit there if you're into Templar history, and I highly recommend picking up Freddie Silva's research books. I am an addict. Um, he has spent years and years and years investigating the Knights Templars in Portugal, and I'm a big fan. So, Castor Marim has a lot of history, and if you take the time to um, look into it, it makes a very, very interesting um, tour around town. It's not huge, and every corner has a cool little something to explore, whether it's a cafe or um, a medieval bar or a piece of history. Um, I hope you enjoy just uh, wandering through the town. Um, there's a lot 
more history you can investigate if you like. Um, there was smuggling up and down the river, and so this was used at one point to kind of keep the smugglers at bay because they didn't want to have to pay the taxes. I mean, Castro Marin was a, a main port uh, in the Algarve and um, exported a lot of um, things to Andalusia. So they had everything from gold, silver, olive oil, wood, bacon, cheese, horses, cattle, olive oil, wine, dried fruit, and lots and lots of salt. Of course, salt, 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 because salt has been famous uh, for way before the Portuguese even got there. Um, and, you know, sometimes they even uh, exported or imported uh, tobacco and slaves in the old days. <laughs> so, um, investigate a little bit of uh, history before you get here um, and um, enjoy the walk around town. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in our fun little bike ride around the preserves and um, we're kind of goofing around and having fun. There were cows out, sheep out, it was a beautiful spring day and we're finally out of lockdown so yes we're goofy and silly but you know we're goofy and silly even when we're not in lockdown. So I hope you enjoy our little movie and uh, if you want some crazy outtakes Always watch to the end and you get some of those as well. Okay, Cindy hates it when I video and drive. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> she says, how can we always drive one-handed and backwards and, oh yeah, that's not fun to drive one-handed, is it? <laughs> Should I put my phone down? I might want to put my phone down. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> oh, you can do it. That's nothing compared to that bridge in the middle of the salt things we are at. <laughs> Hello, sheep. <laughs> it sounds fake. They're ba. Sounds like someone's actually saying ba. <laughs> Wave hello, Cindy. It sounds like Ray. It sounds like Ray. Oh, that's Papa. Oh, isn't that adorable? This one. Hey, there's Mom. Snacks. Moving snacks. I know. Oh, tell Sue, hey, hey, you back. This little sheep is so happy he's getting fed. Really adorable. <laughs> Look at guys, this one. <laughs> this, he's peeping his head out. That guy's wagging his tail. This one's getting like something oh, yeah. itches him. He's getting a free... That's uh, cute. It's like the bear on the back of a tree. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Hey, they're all laying down. There goes that one. I know what he's doing. He's trying to lay down. There you go. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. We're stopping on our trek to check out the wildlife. <laughs> I don't think he's too wild. That's cool looking. They're huge. They are. They don't seem to be too bothered by us. Now, I don't see any bulls. Those would be the ones more to be afraid of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely charge, you know? Yeah, I don't think this little fence is going to do much. <laughs> Unless, is it electric? I don't think it even helps those sheep back there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Is it just a mental block so they, <laughs> so they know? Yeah. Nice. Hola. Hola. Cindy Dindy with, with cows on one side, sheep on the other, and flamingos behind. I'm just a wildlife girl in America. <laughs> or in Portugal, excuse me. American, American in Portugal. American in Portugal. <laughs> and then over here is a... Woo! 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 Flamingos! <laughs> Do you see why I love Cindy? What's over your head? Uh, 
this up. It's not on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see some of those big splats on the other trail? Yes. There were some big splats. <laughs> Here they go. Bye-bye. We didn't mean to yeah, scare I you. Over the vineyards or orchards yeah. I think it's avocados because they've been replacing. The avocados make more money. That's my really good keto recipe today. Yeah. Grilled lime we are the two Americans in Villarreal de San Antonio. Yes. Right? The you know, two crazy American girls on the bicycles. Yes. Do you know any other Americans in town? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, me either. Yes. If you're here, give us a shout out. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that was an order. You will contact us. You will us. contact us. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. <laughs> We have more arriving, so be careful. That's right. That's right. Be careful what you wish for. That's right. <laughs> You'll see us. We'll be riding in to see you. <laughs> well, we will find you. <laughs>
It's kind of like us and our bikes. But the point is, is you can be here and still get that behind you. You don't have to actually be on it to get that view. Now he'll come back. Watch. It's like he's telling us to go down this beautiful road. This butterfly is showing us the, the way. What kind of butterfly is it, I wonder? It doesn't look like a monarch. Uh, I guess because we live in the city. Yeah. You're not going to see them as frequently. Your hair looks good. Yeah? Yeah, it's wavy. Oh, check it. It's the perfect bush. <laughs> this is the perfect That's bush. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to send this to your kids, That's but obviously not now. <laughs> we'll send it to you. You can send it to Sue. Sue would probably appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Maybe not for the kids, but Sue, yeah. yeah your I mom think she's... and dad are crazy. Oh, look at all the solar on this boat. This is funny. He's got solar and wind power. Oh, when you sit and eat here, these cats are all over you. So here's the beach on lockdown. Valerias de Santo Antonio and Monte Gordo. Yay! And here's my friend Cindy Cindy. Hello. <laughs> and someone decided to come out and take their kids and but I did see cars parked, so yes. they could get in trouble. If they're not from here, um, they'll cut be in trouble for coming swim. out There's here. A guy swimming out there, two people swimming. See, I think you can exercise. I just think you're not supposed to drive and then just play right. at the beach like they are. But you know what? But you know, there's no where are you gonna get it exactly. from? Exactly. I guess if everybody came, and if they came yeah. from Lisbon, and they brought their, or Spain, or right. Spain. well, they can't come from Spain, the border's closed. I mean, you better have a letter on why you're coming over here. You just gotta say, hey, I'm going out, or I don't want to take the risk, you know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> Didn't we see some ducks or something in here last time? Yep, Wasn't there's it? one right over there. One little duck, duck, duck. Okay. So peaceful. I'm not sure it matches the other. Oh, it does. Here, show me. Show me. Ooh, let's go look here. Look at it. You match. <laughs> you match. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Where's Cindy? You can't see her. She's camouflaged in. <laughs> That's a really pretty. Oh, look at all these little figs, man. Fig trees getting ready to make some figs. The gypsies don't come take them all because it's on the public site. Did you see this fig tree is full of figs? Oh, I know, it's so cool. The orange blossoms are going on downtown. Fig tree's got its figs. The orange blossoms just, oops, one just dropped right in front of me for me. Oh, and another one. And then there's big bees pollinating them. It's such a beautiful sunny day. I think it's 70, 75. Feels like 80. Oh, look at this bee. They're huge. And it's Sunday. Time for church. It just smells so good. All these orange blossoms. I wish I could transport the, the smell. It just smells so good. The tip, Ungalau. There was one place that had them. One tried to send us to a coffee machine, and then right next door they had Galau's. Yay, Galau. And my sweet city square. And there's humans. That's definitely social distancing when. The chairs are naturally, it looks like, the benches are naturally five feet away. Good to see kids out playing again. And a cafe. This is the trail that's phenomenal and new between Castro Marim and Villarreal de Santo Antonio. And then over here, Cindy again. Hola, baby. Hola. Behind her is the city of Castro Marim, which uh, small little city, but Knights Templar, Knights Templar. <laughs> A great story. Great story. Yeah. Knights Templar, Knights Templar. And then there's the church and the real castle there behind. There it is. 
It's actually hot right here, huh? Yes, it is. We're sweating up a storm today. It says 70, 70 but I think that's always in the shade. So in the sun, it's, we gotta get back on our little bikes. Feels great. Last filling. <laughs> flags all over my town. We've been branded. It's only like 64 degrees today, but in the sun it feels nice because it's not very windy. But COVID's still going on. They roped off the benches. It's lightening up a bit though. I mean, obviously some, some people don't care about the ropes. That's funny. Beautiful town, yeah, a beautiful fun. day. And the fishy fishies are out. Hello, fishy fishies. Look, I can trick them. I'll put my hand out like I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna feed them and then they'll all come over here. My favorite cafe is closed. Ferry to Spain is closed. My town's got the communist stuff all over it. I know elections are coming up, but they've like completely branded the town. The communist stuff. See all these red flags? They're all communist ones. Oops, the sign's the wrong way. But... Hello, Cindy. Yeah, it's nice. When you sit still, it's a little too toasty. There's the bridge between Portugal and Spain. The Marina and Villarreal de Santo Antonio. And here comes the shrimp boat. Is that the shrimp boat? I think so. Baba Gump's shrimp boat. Baba Gump's. These yellow flowers are gorgeous. It's like springtime. Spring is sprung. And we have enough water now. The resident said yeah. that our, you saw that, okay. Yeah, we finally are out of drought. Yes. Let me tell you, that well is just run, run out. No. Do you hear this cat? Was it, Was it a bird or a cat? Does he want a big blue jay? Blackbird. 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 Blue Jays can be territorial. I don't know what that thing is. We got to get a bird card and just, just acknowledge we're old Cindy and we're going to be watching birds. I've already, I've already acknowledged. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on that hot bike. <laughs> I know. I think we need better glasses for, um, because bugs still get in my glasses from underneath. We need like those little, uh, those, yeah. Do you need a okay. tissue? Right here. Now I'm okay. My eyes, my eyes will just water for some reason. Mine do it all the time when I'm biking. Um, the air just gets under them. Yeah, and you know, I haven't had that problem until today. It just happened. Do you think maybe we're going faster? It's these beautiful, these, look at these beautiful. It's almost like baby flowers. That's what I was thinking. These would be perfect for um, fillers in flower. Yes, isn't that pretty? I think this is what we were smelling the other day. I love it. So beautiful. Oh, nice, Cindy. Wedding. Hello. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I'm sorry. On the bike again. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry to Texas that's completely frozen over. Did you see that? Yes. Texas is completely frozen oh, yes. over. They had an yes. ice storm. Yes. And I know North Carolina is, right? North so. Carolina, Alabama. South Carolina didn't really get much. It was just, it's freezing cold though. Oh. Crazy. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're lapping us again. We better get ahead of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another great day with Veronica. Oh, riding our Hello. bikes. Hello. Hey. I don't know if this is getting us or not, but um, another great day. Oh, yes. Nobody out. Lonely oh. planet. My Lonely. favorite phrase. Lonely planet. Anyway, miss you guys. Have a great day. I know you're playing in the snow today. Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> <laughs> that's just mean. <laughs> Anyway, that we bring you some sunshine. Yeah, lots of sunshine. Yeah. Sunshine from Puerto to Cal. <laughs> and, and the little bike. Uh, baby bike, daddy bike, mommy bike. Well, I can't say mommy bike. Anyway. Mommy bike. <laughs> Actually, from this angle, they look the same size, so. Uh, they're not, trust me. <laughs> I could not, even if I was sitting on there, there's no way to touch the pedals or the ground. Oh, and I had to raise the seat way up. Yeah. For my giraffe Actually, legs. Look at the difference in tires. Oh, like, yeah, when you get close. Thing. Actually, I think my tires are bigger than Ray's. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, his is, I love his bike, but I, you know, I was looking at it. Of course, we haven't had them side by side yet. Uh, uh, but I, I feel like his are smaller. So uh oh. Don't tell him that. Matters. Shh. Don't anyway. tell him. Size <laughs> matters. Anyway. Full circle. We're almost back to our little town. Looks like that's about a nine mile. Oh, I don't know. Miles? Kilometers? Oh, 8.3 miles. There's our little town. Oh, <laughs> a little bumpy here. Some ruins. Back to the road. So I'm Do you gonna see turn that off. chair? Do you see the chair? There's a chair in the middle of this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I think that's somebody's fishing chair. <laughs> it's so random. It's so <laughs> Do you need a rest? <laughs> Get away from it all. You gotta waddle through some muck. But uh, there's there's a place to rest. Yep. That's funny. Oh, I just love all these yellow flowers blooming too. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Okay. Smells good. Okay, so here we are back around. So that's Monte Fino, Monte Gordo, and then Villarreal. Yep. And then Castel Marim. Oh, and the bridge. The bridge looks like it's in front of the castle. Yes, look at that. The bridge to Spain. Yeah, it looks like it's in front of the castle. It's funny. Perspective. Get a little bit of video here on the path. Oh. <laughs> <Hit a bump. laughs> this is so pretty. Oh shoot, that's uh, blown out there. Not enough light for these orchards. Darn, darn, darn. Sure is pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? That's why I whipped out my camera. Our avocados, they've been tearing out a lot of um, citrus to plant avocados. I 
fall in the river. <laughs> we are to our town and the river, big river, Guadiana, border to Spain. This is why there's no urban sprawl because these are old reserves. So between Villarreal de Santo Antonio and then over to uh, Castro Marim. Oh, look at these pretty pink trees. Lots of flamingos here. This is pretty cool. We can be a tourist from our own backyard. I mean, we're literally here, what, in 10 minutes, five minutes? Yeah. Like five or 10 minutes. This is my girlfriend, Cindy. Hi. My Georgia friend. It's a wonderful day. It is beautiful. I'm so glad. I say it over and over. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Cindy's <laughs> husband for giving me the bike. I can go so much further on this electric bike and I just put it on one. One is like one assist or zero. Um, I don't use the throttle too much unless I'm going up a hill. But this is, oh, I can feel it in my legs, yeah. But I can go to Now we're heading back home between Monte Gordo and Villarreal de Santo Antonio. There's a spider on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> 